How the hell did they manage to make a sexier video than the original? You're gonna need to get out a leash and a muzzle. So far, so good. Love, I love me some feral love. <laughs> Not this girl. If you're gonna drink bourbon by the fistfuls, the only way. Hi guys, this is Play It Again. I'm Ginger. And I'm Mike. And we're returning to Sabaton. Yeah, because they're good. Because I promised last time we'd get back to them quicker. Yes. And because I really enjoyed the last one. Mm-hmm. So, we're back to another one. What was the name of this song again? I don't remember. <laughs> the Last Stand. You know what? I had that in my head, and I thought to myself, no, that can't be right. Not the same thing as The Stand. But that's Stephen King. Totally different. It's true. I have such a terrible memory. Now I doubt myself all the time. So... I read the description. It says this is about the Swiss 189 cards. brave soldiers that did a last stand during the sacking of Rome in 1527. Ooh, that was a lot of my memory to and use. And you know, I know the outfits those guys wear. I can't imagine having to be brave and take a last stand dressed like that, man. Right? Uh, okay, so I don't Sorry, know how historically a accurate a lot of the movies are when you talk about... Uh, battles j during that age and even before <sighs> but it's gotta be hell trying to fight in all that metal no this guy's wear all those silly striped things with the puffs oh you know, really in 15 the Vatican? no they wear those like old school things with like pants come down to here and the puffy like pantaloons yeah yeah really yeah I mean they may wear armor too I don't know for sure but they wear oh. those goofy old outfits oh I can't imagine you taking can't a last stand like that. Uh, well, I mean, if your life's on the line, it doesn't matter what you're wearing. I guess not. Right? I like, guess you get not. attacked at ca Halloween and you're dressed like a clown, <laughs> you're still going to fight like a demon. I guess so. I know I will, at least. Not that I would ever be dressed as a no clown. No disrespect intended. I know those guys are brave and some of the best fighters on the planet, but those S outfits, man. So I vaguely know about the sacking of Rome. I don't know a lot of details, so I'm hoping these guys are really, really good at kind of educating us on history. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I do love history. There's mm -hmm. just so much of it. It's true. There's right? no shortage. Like, <laughs> I'm hoping to spend, once we get set up on our new farm in Costa Rica, spend a little time actually starting to actually delve into history more and learning more about things like the sacking of Rome. Nice plan. Yeah. So let's start here, though. Mm. Christianity, the God through history is made with salvation. 
So. Loved it. Not a pantaloon to be seen. I know. No, maybe, maybe those yellow and blue uniforms I'm thinking of came in a little later. They're old, but maybe not 1527 old. There you go. Mm -hmm. It was a ton of metal, just like yes, I thought. It was. Which is kind of Sabaton's way. Just a ton <laughs> of metal. You know what I like about Sabaton? Yeah. They have a great sense of melody. Yeah. Like they always have a, like they, they rock and whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But there's always a great melody that they're working with. It's true, and, I in, love that. and in this one, the rhyming was off the charts, man. <laughs> totally off the charts. Nice. Yeah. No, I really enjoyed it, and, and now I really want to read about that battle. Right. Because it sounds really fascinating. It's kind of, uh, so when you, he talks about the 189, and it mm. kind of reminds me of the 300. Right, the 300. Which is a story I love. Uh-huh. Right? And it sounds like it was kind of like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? Well, that, that kind of thing used to happen a lot more than it does now. Damn those Visigoths. <laughs> They're the bad guys. Yes. No offense to the Germanic people on our channel. <laughs> Not like your modern goth. They're just the black guys and pasty white. <sighs> Which is like, goths are like the pre emo. Yep. Yeah. Okay, not those kinds of goths. No, no. No. The Visigoths, the ones that they come and they bring bunt cake. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I love bunt cake. <laughs> can't get that here <laughs> they brought bun cake maybe there wouldn't have been such a big fight <laughs> right everybody would have got along better <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how things get off the rails like this but <laughs> well i know because i'm here yeah i blame you oh well i've had a cup of coffees today mm, it's a little hyped so. that you're right about sabaton and their their um their talent for melody it mm -hmm. always is always really good and I, I find myself even when they're singing about like an entire battle where probably thousands of people died. I find myself grinning just a little because yeah. I'm enjoying it so much. Because they bring you on such a, a ride, right? It, it is like a ride. They you. It yeah. is like a ride. I need one good of those band. flags and some of that chain mail. Really good right? band. And then go for... I'm not thinking like Kate Bush and Babushka. Well, that's a different kind of ride. <laughs> hey, there was chain mail. It's true, there was. Anyway, hopefully you all enjoyed that too. You can give me some uh, some places to start where I can learn a little bit more of that history because mm. uh, I'm eventually, in the next month or two, I hope, going to have enough time to actually sit down and read a book for a change. Yeah. Yeah. And That'd I'd really like to start with something like that. That's really fascinating. That sounds good. Hopefully. Did I say that already? Anyway, just play it again. Does it get stuck in your... <laughs> Ginger's got the practical question. <laughs> I'll hold your upper part still while you shake, baby. Help you learn. <laughs> the coconut just fell right behind us. You good, bro. And we go, dude.